Hi guys, so I've been very fortunate with this channel that every now and then I get sent things free of charge to try out. And as you can see, I've been sent this lovely big thing. And to be honest, it's always like Christmas because I get contacted by companies, going to send me out things, but then I never know when they're going to turn up. And then obviously I get a knock on the door and bish bash bosh, yeah, I have one of these. And in case you couldn't tell, it's a 3D printer um, and a rather large 3D printer at that. Um, I don't know if you can guess which one it is, it's a very new one and this is by Frozen and it's their new Sonic Mega 8KS. You would have seen me use their Mega 8K oh, a good few months ago and the thing I love about this thing is obviously it is rather large which means it has a very nice and large build plate as well as a uh, resin vat as well which means you can print off well some rather big things. But as my YouTube name suggests, I am a miniature hobbyist, so yeah, it's miniature things I paint. Although that being said, because this is so big, and my son really wants a Deadpool mask, um, yeah, I'm going to print a Deadpool mask on this as well. Uh, that video hopefully should be out later this month, or, well, it may change, he may change to having a Batman mask. I'm not too sure. Depends what I can find. Anyway, so yeah, this big bad boy I'm going to be using to, well, print off an army. Um, and yet, yeah, check out the size of this beast. So, if you've seen resin printers, you get some that are half this size, some that are maybe even a quarter of this size. But this beauty is just enormous. So this video is sponsored by Frozen, but as always, I sort of give my honest opinions on, well, what I think of things when I use them. So yeah, this isn't going to be any different. There are links down below though, guys, so you can check out more details about the Sonic Mega 8KS. As I say, I don't really do sort of full reviews in all the technical specs, and the reason for that is I would just be waffling on and probably not making a, a lot of sense. So yeah, check out the link down below for the full sort of spec of this boy. Um, but as you can see, yeah, it's all big, it's all nice. It doesn't need any assembly whatsoever, other than obviously a few little screws there to put the resin vat in and the build plate. And obviously a big printer needs some big resin. And I've got this Amara Labs 5 litre tub of their gaming resin, um, which is awesome stuff. As, yeah, I've been using this for a while now. Love how it comes out with miniatures, as they have a lot of flex in them. And, well, you'll be able to see when I print these things out, just how much flex there is, which is just pretty awesome. So, as I say, this thing, no real assembly needed. You don't even need to level the bed. It comes pre-leveled. Um, there are some sort of little tests you can do just to check that everything is okay But I'm the kind of guy I want to get out of the box if it says it's leveled I'm gonna take it. It's leveled So I want to try it out with some miniatures and well when I say some miniatures I mean an absolute shed load as you can see here I've got a lovely looking army and there's actually 70 miniatures on this if you check out the link below to Frozen, you'll see they actually got 80 miniatures on theirs. Obviously a different type. I wanted to go with these lovely sort of, well they're not quite Centurions. Um, but yeah, these are glorious and I just love the way obviously I've squeezed them all on. Um, I probably could have put them a little bit even closer still. And still managed to get um, get them printed out nicely. Uh, but yeah, I, <laughs> I was like a kid in the candy shop when I was putting these on because I was just chuckling to myself. Um, that I've got so many on here, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap around the edge, so possibly get a few more on. Yeah, it's simple case, stick on a USB, pop the USB in the front, so it's quite a nice this one, it's got the uh, switch at the back, USB thing at the front, um, and then yeah, literally, usual sort of thing, push a few buttons, and this one's got a nice go button, so yeah, go! And down comes the plate, and yeah, this is where obviously I walk off, do some other stuff, and then come back to a fully printed army. So say, I've just done these as a tester, um, but yeah, you could print out a Warhammer army or Necromunda army, D&D army, whatever kind of army you want in next to no time with this. As I say, you can get so many on this build plate at once, it's just ridiculous. And the other crazy thing is, this is a fast printer. Although, well, saying that, it is if you use the right settings and the right resin. Again, check the Frozen website for more details on what well, the resin you need and obviously all the settings you need to uh, yeah print out let's say an entire army in about 90 minutes, which is just nuts. Obviously, I didn't have that resin or mess about the settings, so mine took a good I think four or five hours. But as you can see, yeah, a full army 
um, in that kind of time is just crazy. So the other great feature with this thing is there's a little hook here, so you can hang your uh, your build plate on it, and basically it lets the resin drip off. So rather than trying to take the miniatures off straight away and obviously waste some resin, well, that just sort of is sitting there, um, yeah, give this sort of five ten minutes, it sort of drip dries, um, and then you're good to go with a nice sort of clean plate that's not gonna well not gonna drip and make a mess anywhere, as well as obviously saving that all important resin. Well, to print off a shed load more miniatures, uh, which is what I am doing right now. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear my machine whizzing away, but uh, yeah, I am using it to yeah, print off more stuff. So I kind of guess the only downside to this printer is, well, you're going to have a load of grey stuff that needs to be painted. Um, yeah, so as you can see, they all came off nice and neat. Um, and this does come with a huge wash station. Um, it's that big, in fact, I didn't have anywhere to put it because it is so big. So yeah, Amaral Labs resin, yeah, this is what I mean by flexible. Um, yeah, everything bends and can be moved back to its original position. So yeah, these guys, if you drop these, they're not going to snap. Whereas the old days, god, having a load of these, all I'd be thinking about is one drop and snap, 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 everything's coming off. But yeah, so many miniatures in so little time, amazing. And don't forget to keep an eye out for the video later this month where I say I'm going to print out something a lot larger. So whether it's a mask for my son, which I'm sure he, he will get eventually, but I am also on the lookout for yeah printing out something rather large, whether it's some sort of creature or a robot. Uh, I'm not too sure yet as well. I'm still kind of looking as I really want to put this printer to its test and yeah, print out something rather large. So as you can see on the screen, guys, there's loads more details to be seen over at the Frozen website. Give that a click, links down below. I just want to say again a big thank you to Frozen for sponsoring this video as well as sending me this lovely printer which yeah is going to get a lot of use over the next few days as well. I've got a lot of, lot of projects coming up guys so keep an eye out for that. And yeah this printer is it's a beast but simple to use which is great. So straight out of the box within about 15 minutes um, yeah I was uh, having my first print coming out and as you saw there. It's an absolute shed load of miniatures. Now I've just got to paint the things. If you are new here and like what I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell, as I do produce a few videos every week. There's another video on the screen, guys. Give that a click, see more of what I do. Big shout out to all my lovely patrons, as well as my monthly sponsors for helping me, well, keeping mince pies at this time of the year. Anything you guys want to see me do on this channel, just leave comments down below and I'll have a go at it. Okay, guys, you all take care. See you in the next one. Bye for now.